Hi everyone, it's Justine. New year, new makeup trends. I want to show you five trends that I think we will see a lot this year. I built trend boards as usual. They will be available on my blog linked here and in the description below. It's one of those videos that take a while to prepare. <laughs> but when I do that, I like to look at celebrities, at runways, at inspiration from different areas. And this is what I found. Spoiler, in 2018, we're seeing the end of exaggerated contouring, which I'm not unhappy about, I have to say. But let's start immediately with the first trend, which I called fantasy highlighters. Rihanna has launched a Fenty makeup line, which really emulates it in the beauty world. A surprising product within that line that immediately took off with A-listers and on Instagram is Golden Highlighter. It's like a blush, but not really in a skin-like tone. It's like a highlighter a little bit, but it's not actually lighter than your skin tone. Here's the board that I prepared. Golden Highlighter really warms up the whole face. It's great on warm skin tones. So in parallel, emerge another color palette inspired by fantasy hair colors and by the unicorn look that we've seen a lot online last year. And the pastel tones that you see at the bottom fit perfectly if you have cooler skin. So this double trend actually caters perfectly for warm skin in gold and for cooler skin in pastel tones. A silver, a pearl white are also great options if you like something a little bit more discreet, a bit more subtle, but more on this in a minute. Let's move on to trend number two, eyeliner lines. In 2017, at the end of the day, there was one official way of drawing an eyeliner line. Very long, bold in the middle, pointier and pointier towards the outside until it vanishes. That was the Instagram 2017 look. <laughs> in 2018, on the other hand, it's going to be a lot more interesting on the matter of eyeliner. We're seeing many different ways of actually drawing that line anywhere around the eye. You can create thick and filled wings, like on the right side of the board, or you can leave those lines unfilled, like in the top right corner on Bella Hadid. You can also draw under the eye instead of above it, either with a pointy end or just by marking your bottom waterline right underneath the eye. Notice that all looks here use dark eyeliner colors, regardless of the skin tone or the hair color of the lady. Which liner style do you prefer? That trend makes me personally immediately think of Twiggy, who was the model of the 60s. She would draw a black line here on the crease of the eyelid, of the mobile lid, and then she would paint the bottom lashes with a brush here that made her look like a doll. Very recognizable look. Peachy smoky. This trend is perfect for a day look. It can be kept quite discreet and it looks fresh at all ages. You take the technique of a smoky eye, but you do it with a peachy eyeshadow instead. Example, in the bottom left corner. You can use a slightly darker shade for a more intense look, or you can use gel, a different texture, to get a wet version of it, which is quite interesting. And since it is such a cute color as a nail polish too, you could even match your nails to your eyeshadow instead of matching it to your lipstick. This is definitely something that I would do, and I would do it by day or by night, for any occasion, in fact. Focus on the inner corner. Usually, when you see very heavy makeup looks, you see pigments all around the eye area. Here, up to the eyebrow, on the outside, of course, but also underneath the eye and in that area here, close to the nose. In 2018, we're seeing very subtle looks where you decorate just the inner corner of the eye here, while the rest of the face and the eye area remain almost bare. And I find this extremely elegant. The easiest way of doing it is with a tone that is a very, very light white, gray, light gray, pearl white, a cream white, something like that. And you just apply a hint of it with your finger. Very refreshing. In the top left corner, you see a heavier version where she's wearing white highlighter on her cheeks and the inner corners of her eyes are actually purple. That's the more dramatic way of playing it if you wanna try that. This inner corner thing is technically very easy to do, but it gives you immediately um, kind of artistic touch. Pantone purple. A couple of weeks ago, I did a video about the Pantone color of the year 2018, which is ultraviolet. If you've missed it, you can watch it here. I link it in the corner, as well as in the description below this video. Basically, Pantone said, this year we're gonna see purple, violet everywhere. <laughs> Rather than a self-fulfilling prophecy, it's the result of what they've been observing over the course of the last months. 
and there was quite a bit of purple indeed. Princess Purple Rain, Rihanna wore purple makeup many many times, purple ombre lips are not in, and almost all makeup brands have extended their purple and violet ranges of colors. That gives you a ton of options on how you want to do it. On the lips, like my lipstick today, Revlon Vava Violet, which you also see here, I currently wear it a lot because I feel it's a great winter color. Or you do it on the eyes, and really there are many, many shades from very light to very intense right now on the market. Red was the lip color this winter, but now in spring summer we see purple, violet coming more and more, and it's a very, very sophisticated color. Actually, I did a video on the meaning of color, so I will link it here and below as well. Those were the five trends that I selected for you. Do you have any favorites? Is there something that you were really expecting to see on those boards and didn't see? Feel free to comment. I'm very curious about what you see on your side of the world. Thumbs up if you felt inspired by this video. I certainly enjoyed making it because I love to build mood boards. Subscribe to this channel for more trend videos to come this month. The big fashion trends video, which I do twice a year, is also coming up, so stay tuned. New videos every Wednesday and Sunday. See you very soon again. And until then, take care. Bye.